Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over how to calculate IV infusion rates. Now in my previous video we went over drip factors and we covered a lot of other dosage and calculations tutorials. So be sure to watch those if you are learning this material right now. Now, after I work these problems, I'm going to go step by step using dimensional analysis and walk you through these sample problems. I highly encourage you to go to my website, registerednursern.com. A link should pop up and take the quiz that goes along with this teaching tutorial and see how well you know this material. So let's get started. Okay, whenever you have any problem, typically the problem will say this. It'll say doctor's order. They want 300 milliliters of normal saline, that's what NS means, to infuse over six hours. What's your hourly rate? So what we're sol solving for is milliliters per hour. Because anytime in the hospital setting you are setting an IV pump, you're gonna be running at mils per hour. So this is a very important thing you need to know as a nurse. So let's set up a problem using dimensional analysis. I always like to set my problem up with what the doctor ordered. So let's underline the most important parts in our problem. It's 300 milliliters. They want 300 milliliters of normal saline to go in over six hours. So what are we gonna set the pump to hourly to make sure that goes in over six hours? Let's see. We're gonna say 300 milliliters because that's what they ordered to go in over six hours. And where we're trying to get is milliliters per hour. That is that's our goal. That's what we're trying to figure out. So we already have milliliters per hour. So all we gotta do is divide. So 300 divided by six equals 50. So it's gonna be 50 milliliters per hour. And once that hits six hours, it'll be 300 milliliters. So that was a really simple problem. And using dimensional analysis, it just makes sense. Okay, now let's do our second problem. This problem says, Doctor orders two liters of D5W half normal saline to infuse over 48 hours. What's our hourly rate? So we'll get this solution in. So again, I like to set up my problem with what the doctor ordered and they ordered two liters over 48 hours. So we're gonna say two liters uh, over 48 hours because that's what they want. They want two liters to go in over 48 hours. And we're trying to get to milliliters per hour. That is what we're trying to solve for. So we'll write that right here just to remind us. And right now we're in liters per hour. We're almost there, but we've got to convert liters to milliliters. So you know, just from the metric table, I went over that, check out my video on the explanation metric table if you're not familiar with it. But this is just something you have to memorize. There is one liter in a thousand milliliters. So one liter equals a thousand milliliters. And we just converted that. So that cancels out liters. We're now in milliliters per hour. So we're ready to solve. We're gonna multiply everything in the top and bottom and then divide. So two times a thousand is 2000. And 48 times one is 48. And 2000 divided by 48 is 41.66 repeating. And um, you need to round to the nearest whole number for this. So it would be 42 milliliters per hour. That's how fast we are gonna run this solution so it'll go in over 48 hours. Now let's do our next problem. Okay, our next problem says, doctor orders 0 0.8 liters of normal saline to infuse over 45 minutes. What will our hourly rate be? So we're trying to get milliliters per, per hour. So that's where we're trying to go. And our important parts of this is 8.1 liters and we want to go in over 48 minutes. So let's set up our dimensional analysis problem and we're gonna start with what the doctor ordered. So they want 0 0.8 liters to go in at over 45 minutes. Now we gotta get to milliliters per hour. So already looking at this, we know we got some conversions coming up because right now we're in liters per minute. So let's go ahead and convert our minutes to hours. So what we're gonna do is we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 minutes equals one hour. That cancels out minutes, okay? So right now we're in liters per hour. Now we gotta get that liters per hour to milliliters per hour, because that's what we're trying to get. So we know from memory from the metric table that there is one liter in a thousand milliliters. That cancels out liters. 
Now we're in milliliters per hour, which is where we wanted to go. So we are ready to solve. Let's multiply everything at the top and bottom and divide. So 60 times 0.8 times 1,000 equals 48,000. And one times 45 times one equals 45. And 48,000 divided by 45 equals 1,066. So we would set our rate at 1,066 mils per hour to get that fluid in, and that is our answer. Okay, so that is how you solve IV infusions. Now, I really encourage you to go to my website, registerednursrn.com, and take the quiz that correlates with this and test your knowledge. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.